There are a few things in life that hinge on being challenged, the biggest of which is growth. Growth in knowledge is obvious when we're talking about school, but we also want to grow skills, resilience, and emotional regulation, among other things. Growth doesn't just involve pushing through, especially when we're talking about kids who may be behind developmentally or highly sensitive, like those who are neurodivergent. We know that we have to meet our neurodivergent kids where they are to create opportunities for success. But that means we have two big concepts here that seem like they contradict each other, growth and meeting kids where they are. We want to challenge enough that there's progress and growth, but not so much that the child can't succeed, which typically leads to giving up and feeling incapable. Challenge without gauging all the factors that uncover capability in the moment will do more harm than good. That's why we need the concept of just right challenge. A just right challenge falls in that middle zone that psychologist Lev Vygotsky named the zone of proximal development. You're challenging enough to push the child a bit out of their comfort zone, but within the range of what's doable for them. You're not challenging so much that the expectation is impossible for them to reach, that that goal is unattainable. The concept of just right challenge came up again and again and again throughout the School Struggle Summit workshops for this year, 2023. I suspect because kids who struggle in school are often pushed to fit within a system that wasn't designed for them. Traditional school is not designed for neurodivergent kids, for different learners and different thinkers. This might be in the name of growth, that pushing, but it ends up making kids feel like something is wrong with them or like they're a failure. We talk about tempering this with setting expectations independently based on what would be a just right challenge for each student. That provides the opportunity for success for every individual. We want to challenge just enough for growth so that it's a little bit challenging, but it's still doable for that child given their learning challenges, where they are in that moment and in that environment. But we don't want to challenge so much that we break them, that it is not doable for them under the current circumstances. It's really difficult sometimes to know where that just right challenge is, where is that zone of proximal development. And what I always teach people is to take tiny, tiny baby steps forward. Just have it slightly more challenging each time so that you can gauge where that zone of proximal development is, gauge where that zone of just right challenge lies for that kid in that moment, in that environment. There are many things that play into what is a just right challenge. And what's a just right challenge in the classroom today may be way too high of an expectation for the exact same student in that exact same classroom tomorrow. Because what is so true of neurodiversity is that it is very inconsistent experience. So be very mindful of offering just right challenge, not pushing too much, not pushing for pushing's sake, giving kids tasks that are doable, but slightly challenging for them. I hope you'll join me in the 2023 School Struggle Summit, along with the 24 amazing experts, so that you can learn a lot more about that just right challenge and how to craft opportunities for growth and success for kids who struggle in school. Go to thebehaviorrevolution.com slash school to learn more and to grab your free spot. There is an opportunity to purchase forever access to this conference so that you can have the sessions to work through in your own time. I really hope to see you there, teachers, parents, other professionals, any caring adult for a child who struggles in school. 
this is the conference for you and it can change your life and your kids or your students' lives. So I really hope to see you inside.